in a versus between you and uh, <laughs> Slim Thug, mm -hmm. how would you take him out? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Well, that, that, that just shows like when you start walking in purpose. Yeah. He starts opening the doors. That's all that is. Yeah. I wanted to ask you, um, um, so in a versus between you and uh, <laughs> Slim Thug, mm -hmm. how would you take him out? <laughs> Slim Thug. Because y'all got a lot of songs. And Slim I saw, I'm trying to, I was trying to think of who, who I would pick. Songs? It's like this. Man, Slim, Slim, my brother. they work, man. Slim, my brother. And he he's had he got great songs. He's yeah. been in great yeah. situations. I always tell people this. Shout out to Slim Thug. And my bro. He the most consistent on this. Let me tell you what he's the most consistent on. Showing everybody else love. Mm. Okay. Hey, man, show me a post without Slim name on it. You I'll go, give you $100. You getting in there. I don't care what. Go down your timeline. If Slim ain't on there, I'm going to give you $100. He, he, he there. love everybody. He show up, man. And for this city, man. With him being one of the bigger stars, and I get back to what you're saying, with him being, he show up for everybody. And that's what I told him at my Legends dinner. I appreciate you, man, because. And that was I, a dope dinner. I wasn't there, but I was on my ID page. You just struck a nerve. <laughs> you niggas had on black. I'm, I'm sick of it. Now, I'm coming to the party, nigga. You got to come to the Listen, party. It was nice. I'm not leaving, man. I, I got and to I saluted, the truck. You know I saluted everybody, and I saluted you him did. for no matter what, man. He always show up for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, in the verses, I say this. Slim has a situation where he have deals, so he have some big yeah. songs. Um, you know, with bring me some bigger artists. I always tell people this, and it ain't just about Slim. Hey, man, we come to the backyard. I'm going to make it tough forever. <laughs> <laughs> we do it here. I'm going to make it tough forever. And I don't, I'm going to make it because I'm I got some. Hey, listen, people don't get to see. I see it. I see the wall. A matter of fact, I, I, you can't miss hey, it. Hey, let me tell you something. I'm going to make it tough here. <laughs> here? It's hard. It's tough. No, nah, I don't know. We take real. Well, I don't know. Everybody love him. They ain't but, never done a, a versus with um, South. No, no, no. We got nah. to do something. Nah, but they always ask. Yeah. I, I got. I had to ask that question because you try to figure out who would. Let me be tell you good, something. The city good. will love it because the yeah. North will love it. The South will love it. And right. we got. We are. We both. We both got roll. They need all to in do it. it. But I always tell people, man. That's that's not. That's end of. You ask him, he pretty much gonna say the same thing. Roll gonna say the same thing. But I just feel like that man with anybody, man, in the backyard. Psh, I'm ready. Yeah, I got to ask you this question because this here question comes in from a, blo a, a blogger friend of mine. And he okay. said, you got to ask him this, man. I said, I'm going to see him, man. I said, I got, I, I'm going, nigga. Uh, you better come on. And he said, nah, man, I can't go. But I, I, I said, well, you better try to get, you might not never see this, nigga. I don't know. <laughs> What's I looked the, up what's on the it. Question? What's the I got to get to it, man. I done, he had my phone hijacked for a second. Uh, Trill talk, no pill talk. I've been seeing him. Yeah, lately. he says, what draws you so close to Al D and Al D being from East Texas? You know you're going to see it. And how does he, and how do you feel about Texas as a whole? And are there any other East Texas artists that you listen to? Man, it's like this. I, 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 um, I done some music with Al D back a long time ago. I long, seen it. Long, long, mm -hmm. long. Well, I damn near didn't remember. <laughs> I didn't. I ain't remember how they telling me about it. I didn't even remember. I'm like, no shit. You know what I'm saying? It was, that, it was that long ago. Yeah. So man, when he got out, man, he was so adamant about recreating what he had left off. So he called me again to do another song, man. Let me tell you something what's gonna be crazy to you. And I ain't just calling him this, but it's like I love penitentiary names. <laughs> I just like them penitentiary ass stories, man. I grew up on them. I grew up on a lot of penitentiary niggas, man. A lot of next door neighbors, my partners. Hey, and even my little time with doing, man, I love a penitentiary story. <laughs> man, listen, when I'm in the car, I, was, I tell people all the time, I was in the county jail and I used to have this cat man and uh, he did 30 years flat. Yeah, yeah. He ate all my food up because he had all the stories. <laughs> so I let it, he, my bag was open. He finna come over there and tell me about the two hours of these stories. Man, this man will eat up everything I got. Man. And ALD, it, we, we used to converse and we used to talk. 
And L D is a penitentiary. Nigga, man. <laughs> Golly. Man, this dude here is wild, man. man. He got stories for days. Oh, and, and man, listen, I love it. I'm a great debater. Oh, you got you some, oh, man. How are you better than Al D? Because Al D can go. <laughs> I heard him. Boy, this man, the, wanna, this man, on the phone, he can this go. man debates me every day. <laughs> I, can, I Five, believe that. six, seven subjects. I believe it. And I tears his ass. <laughs> oh. And I tears his oh. ass. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but man, listen, that's my bro. And listen, you know what? It wasn't just that. I was in love with his, even though I was trying to talk him out of his hustle. I'm like, man, will you stop selling rocks right here with the shit you doing, oh, man? man? But I loved it. I loved it. He, he believed in it. He his, meant that. He believed in himself. You know, hey, man, I want to do right. I want to live off this, man. I'm going to do whatever. I, I told him from the beginning, listen, man, you can get talked out of that shit in a minute. Mm -hmm. It's time to cross on over. You know what I'm saying? But I loved it. And I just loved this hustle. Man, he just became somebody that if you got a good sport argument, you gon' you can you can argue me all day. I'ma argue sports all day. So just the person who he is and he, he just got a lot of elements of shit talking that I love to cover and talk <laughs> shit too. And we just grew a good bond and I wanna see him do well, man, cause he he really a rap junkie. Mm. He really love it. And, man, listen, man, anybody that's trying to come out to do the right thing, that's just like Brewster. Yeah. Brewster, that's my guy, too. Yeah. Anybody that's trying to come out to do the right thing, man, hey, man, listen. So, yeah, that's my guy. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.